Hello everyone, my name is Skalti, and today I'm bringing you a guide on the basic construction of Tier 1 copper and iron components at 100% efficiency from a single pure node. This is going to be a great tutorial for those who are just starting out the game. This will provide you a bountiful amount of resources to build your future factories, upgrade your hub, and move on to greater and more complex things. I hope you enjoy. All right, for this factory system, you're gonna want 120 iron ore per minute. This can be accomplished by putting an MK1 miner on a pure iron node, or you can do a MK1 miner on two normal nodes, or in worst case scenario, four MK1 miners on four impure nodes. At the end of the day, you just wanna make sure you have 120 iron ore coming into the system. Next up, with our 120 iron ore, we have that being split into two lines of 60. And then from those two lines of 60, we have four lines of 30. Those lines of 30 are being fed into four smelters, and the recipe for the iron ingot is 30 iron ore in per minute with 30 iron ingots out per minute. On these three smelters here, we have them being fed directly into their own constructor. So we have a total of three constructors. All three of these are making iron plates. The recipe for the iron plates, 30 iron ingots in per minute with 20 iron plates out per minute. And this is giving us a grand total of 60 iron plates per minute from this system. Going back over to this fourth smelter here, we have it being broken out into two different lines giving us 15 iron ingots per minute per belt and those are being fed into these two constructors and these are creating iron rods. The recipe for the iron rods is 15 iron ingots in per minute with an output of 15 iron rods per minute. Here we're doing a little bit of load balancing with our outputs. On the left you can see that we have a merger and on the right we have a splitter. The splitter on the right is being separated into three different belt lines. So if we take the 15 iron rods per minute and we're breaking it out into three belts, that's giving each belt five iron rods per minute. We have the left belt coming out of the splitter, merging in with our other constructor's output, giving us a grand total of 20 iron rods per minute. And then over on the right, we have the two belts coming out one from the middle and one from the right output of the splitter. And the reason why we do this is to ensure that we have 10 iron rods being merged back in together for our screws being made in this constructor here. And the recipe for the screws is 10 iron rods in per minute with an output of 40 screws. And then at the end, we have all these items going into their respective storage containers and again, that's 40 iron screws per minute, 20 iron rods per minute, and 60 iron plates per minute. And now, let's go ahead and take a look at copper. Starting off in the same fashion of our iron ore, we have an MK1 miner on a pure copper node, giving us 120 copper ore per minute. We are then breaking that out into two lines of 60 and then into four lines of 30 going into our four smelters you can see here. For the two smelters here on the right, we have these being merged together, giving us a singular line of 60 copper ingots per minute. And then we have that splitting out into three lines of 20 per minute. These constructors here are creating copper sheets, and the recipe for those is 20 copper ingots in per minute, giving us 10 copper sheets per minute, with a grand total of 30 copper sheets per minute. Going back over to our smelters, the other two we have here on the left are respectively being broken apart into two separate lines of 15 for a total of four lines of 15 copper ingots per minute being fed into four constructors. All of these constructors are currently making wire and the recipe for that is 15 copper ingots in per minute for 30 wire per minute. Over on these two, we have these simply going out into its own storage container. 
And then here we have a line of 60 wire being fed into a constructor making cable. The recipe for cable is 60 wire in per minute with an output of 60 cable, again, into its own storage container. God, that pacing was so weird. Screw it. Cue up the B-roll. And then to wrap up our guide. If you found any value in this tutorial, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more content in the future, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions or if there's something you want to see specifically in the future, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. And if you're ready to move on to some more complex items, I do have two guides, both 100% efficiency for 20 reinforced iron plates per minute and 16 rotors per minute. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, Take care.